Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is another manga recommendation about cute school romance manga. You know, sometimes when we get stressed about schoolwork, we deserve to get sprinkled by an inch of romance here and then. If you're just looking for something nice and wholesome to read, this is the right video for you. And without further ado, let's get on with the first one. The first one is called, I won't fall for him just because of his face and it currently has 14 chapters. Sana decided to go to her chosen high school because of many specific reasons. One of the main reasons is that her idol named Kanato is also going there. Kanato is a very idol-like boy who has a good-looking face. And one night, the official account of her school messaged her Instagram. The person behind the message is not that knowledgeable about technologies and is asking for help. For some reason, she decided to guide that person and give them all the advice they needed. The next day, she became surprised when the boy Kanato approached her. It's been revealed that he is actually the one that she exchanged conversation with last night. The thing is, the school contract him to post his pictures on their Instagram account in order to attract more students. Kanato had some problems with his grades and he took this offer. The problem is he is not that tech savvy and asked Sana to be the admin of the page. It means that she will be the one to make the posts, respond to the messages, and make the account grow in followers. Sana accepted it after some time. She is very much grateful to receive this offer as she will be able to look at Kanato more regularly and generally just taking his pictures bring her happiness after some time it seems that sana can't handle kanato anymore every time she saw him and he gets closer her heart will start to throb endlessly the question that she asks herself is it must not be just because of his face right what I will say is this manga is very relatable. Just reading the intro where the number of students literally raised by many percent because there is this one very good looking boy that is studying here like me and my friends would definitely enroll to that school. The female lead is also understandable. She's very open that she like looking at good looking faces which is what a lot of us like to do and although we love to do that, it's not like we're always is going to push ourselves to them like you get the point she's literally like that and their love story these two are so adorable while sana is dying because of kanata's behavior like he will straight up flirt with her like her reaction would be so obvious and the flow of the story is just right it's really a good romance manga once you feel their chemistry you won't get enough of it the second one is called Cat and a Kiss and it currently has 7 chapters. Arena is admired by a lot of students in her school. It's because of her cool appearance but what they don't know is her obsession with cats. She adored cats so much because she find them cute and irresistible. On the other hand, she also has a classmate who doesn't like to socialize and he always wears a mask named Nikoyama Akira. One time. When she is spending time at her house, one adorable cat came inside their garden and it seems like it was being attacked by crows because she can't just let it get hurt, she grab it and bring it with her inside. Now, she likes to cuddle with them because honestly, who wouldn't? Especially when they're fluffy. When she kisses the cat, she's caught off guard as the cat transforms into a naked human. Moreover, it's her classmate Akira. Of course, she panicked and tried to make sense of this situation. She actually passed out the first time, but the second time, Akira explained himself and said that when he kiss any person or a cat in his case, he can turn into a human or cat and vice versa. He also insists that because of this event, Irina is now his owner. Since then, Irina finds herself in a secretive relationship with her quiet classmate who is secretly a cat, Akira. 
It's pretty much your cliche high school romance but this time with a fantasy twist like what could be the best addition to this formula? You guess it right, it's having a male lead carry a cat persona. Personally, I'm not a person who's into pets such as dogs, cats, fish, etc. but I find this manga cute. Although I'm not fond of them, I can see why people would be into them. And it's interesting how he would react to a certain situation because he's literally a cat like there is a time when Irina got asked by a man or something. And I know that one of the cat's instincts is to mark their owner or something like that. Akira did the same and there would be many of that. Right now, I don't have much to say since there are only 7 chapters but it's looking great as of now. The third one is called In the Clear Moonlit Dust and it currently has 15 chapters. Yoi is famous at her school because of her prince-like appearance. Although she is a girl, other girls in her school like her. When you look at her the first time, you will not notice that she is actually a girl because of her height and facial features, even how she acts, it's like the male lead in every shoujo manga, and really these girls are head over heels for her. She actually has a rival if you must say in this position, his name is Ichimura and he is Yoi's senpai or a person who is an upper level schoolmate. The thing is, her first exchange of dialogue with him is memorable since he straight up admit to how beautiful she looked. Although Ichimura thought that she was just an extremely beautiful guy and when he learned that she was actually a girl, he was amazed. Since then, he took every chance to get closer to her and throughout the manga, they will just meet often because of circumstances and open up to each other. This affects Yoi on a different level because it's the first time a guy is approaching her like this. People who's always on her side are always girls and ever since becoming closer with Ichimura, there is this unknown feeling building up inside her that wants to keep spending time with him. This one is refreshing to read. I think it will give you a different perspective. It's given that both of the main characters are attractive. Literally, this is one of the few manga or even manhwa that I literally screenshot every panel that contains one of the characters because they just look so good. You won't believe it, I got like maybe 50 to 70 screenshots when I get caught up. Back to the point, what I mean is that although the female lead gives masculine vibes, it's important to not assume her sexuality like all the girls are doing in her school. And the dynamic of these two is also on another level. They look perfect for each other. Like they're the type of couple whom I can't imagine having different people to be their partner. Something like that. And their story is also great. There are a lot of moments that will make you say, why is that not me? I really love how Ichimura makes Yoi feels he treats her so endearingly. And it's evident that they hold deep feelings for each other. The fourth one is called Paper Bug Goon is in Love and it's now completed with 15 chapters. Umi, a college student, started to notice something unusual when a man who has a paper bag in his head kept following her around. The thing is, she is not bothered badly, maybe because this man doesn't seem to be a threat. His approach is none like that of a stalker, instead he comes when needed. One time, he even saved her from being assaulted by another man. This paper bag man will keep following her around. He actually confessed to her in their first encounter. He revealed that he likes her but is too shy to show his face. And it's not that Umi ignores him all that time. They're actually talking to each other and becoming closer each day. She can't help but be intrigued by his behavior behavior and although she can't see his face, she's sure that she also became fond of him. With these two being timid with their feelings, which one of them is going to break through and finally make a move to the other person. This one is a short sweet read. I believe I became fully satisfied and happy with that 15 chapters. These two characters individually are one of the most soft and wholesome characters I've ever read. They're so adorable from all their interactions and just the way they think and act is just 
I want to pinch them or something. Also, aren't you curious about how paper bag gun look? I literally read this manga because of a video that I saw and I was anticipating how he looked but I was surprised that I became hooked because of the wholesome and heart fluttering content. Spoiler alert, he's actually cute so that's my part. It's just a light-hearted read that will make you feel good. The last one is called I Love You Mickey and it currently has 25 chapters. Mickey is a stylish high school student. She basically likes to style her looks with more western style clothes and she's also outgoing as she seems to have a lot of close friends. On the other hand, there is this shy and quiet boy who has a crush on her. His name is Kusaka. Because of his uneasiness of not being able to be close to her, he made the move to confess and tell her his feelings. He basically changed his image but honestly, he just stopped using his eyeglasses and went for the gold. I guess that worked because everyone was shocked when Mickey accepted him and they started dating. Nobody thought that the cool and stylish Mickey would make someone like Kusaka her boyfriend. Throughout the story, they really just tried to figure out their relationship and make the most of it. They went on dates a lot and experienced the high school romance. No crazy plot, just your cute little romance high school manga. I honestly have zero problems with this manga like literally it's one of the more basic plots that I've encountered. There is nothing unique about the characters or what that I can tell you guys. You might be thinking why did I put it here. It's because although it's cliche, it's still a good and comforting read. Although they might look like an odd couple, it still works. Somehow they look cute together. Their moments, although as I said, nothing crazy is happening bring comfort in some way like just reading these two individuals falling in love or expressing their feelings in a natural high school student way is quite a nice read that is all for the video thank you so much for watching i hope you find this informative and i hope this fill the void if you don't have your sprinkle of romance while dealing with stress at school works or work works if you'd had your own and just looking for something to read first of all good for you and i hope i delivered have a good day and i will see you next time